just tell you a little bit about what the brain image is. So, I've got an exciting picture of what looks like, well, almost the other brick road in the Wizard of Oz, but that picture is there because we provide a pathway for young people like yourselves, especially from Hackney, that's where I focus all my work in, to try and think about careers in the city. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be maybe a lawyer or a banker or an accountant. It might mean that you work in IT in the city. In fact, if you work in IT in the city, as opposed to other places in the country or other places around London, you'll probably get paid the best because they tend to have lots and lots of really wealthy kind of firms that need IT staff. They pay their IT staff a lot because they want to retain them and make you like, really, really good at what you do. So training you as well. So when I say the city with a capital C, anyone want to take a guess at what I mean? There are no silly answers, trust me. Yeah, so where is that? Like, where is that geographically? Central. Central, so like if you think of the tube map, is it the whole of zone one?
Sarah's, if you are a bit funny, you might want to crack a joke. Josh, Aaron, you might want to do the same. But be yourselves. Don't feel like you have to put on a pretentious voice and talk like this. Don't feel like you have to be someone else. It feels as perfect as you are to make sure that you shine through. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing. Um, the reason I put this on because when you're thinking of IT, there's loads of different things that you can get involved in. For example, the media, a big one. Um, things like marketing, communication, Facebook, PR. Does anyone know what PR is? Public relations. Yeah, public relations. But good, good effort, good. Now, one of the big words that stands out as opposed to just social media is social and people because you will be meeting a lot of different people, okay? So you need to make sure that you have all these skills down to the team. Maybe, no, thank you. Another nomination. Okay, good, let's get out. Okay, you. This is a brand new opportunity for someone to join a fast-paced global technology expert. Exactly. Okay, no, 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 it reads good. I don't know, this is a global technology expert in their London headquarters. This person will manage the brand's presence via relevant social media channels and online forums. You will communicate and engage with relevant target audiences and clients whilst providing seamless office support at all times. The successful candidate will have worked on a fast-paced environment previously, be able to manage expectations and prioritize effectively, ideally have previous exposure of managing business profiles on social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn. An intermediate, be an intermediate user of Microsoft Office advanced ideas. Beautiful reading, thank you very much. Okay, so, you guys, tell me what skills, maybe some of the skills you've already covered, but what skills does this job give? What is it looking for? Time management IT. Okay, time management IT, can you check that? what's actually going to happen. So don't kind of oversell. Make sure that you say, okay, this is what I can do. And likewise, if you're trying to impress your boss or something, don't go overboard and say, I'm going to finish everything in this particular time, because you're already setting yourself up for a very challenge. Likewise, don't undersell yourself. And don't say, I'm going to do this tiny amount of work by then, because then you won't get noticed. So, you've all picked out the skills. Just before we carry on, we have our very young IT technician expert in the room. Would you mind yes. sharing with the group maybe a couple of things that you did or um, that you were looking for in job descriptions when you got your jobs in the past or this one now? Yeah. Well, sure. Uh, basically, uh, <coughs> I graduated, I did animation, but I always had passion for IT. So um, after graduation, I did some short courses. Uh, I did, uh, I think you guys heard of Cisco? Yeah. Um, that were computer for us. Yeah. So I always wanted to be uh, more of a hands-on person, more technical. So um, how I found jobs, um, well, I want to be an IT technician in a, in a school, in the education department. So most of, most of the job searching was online through, um, through schools. So I, I went for basic um, job search. Um, I mean, don't, don't rely on online. I mean, there's, you just need to go out there and search for yourself. Um, there's forums, website, and um, in fact, I've actually found quite a lot of jobs in IT. Uh, it was easy for me because, um, because of the um, the forums website and how you make contacts. Contacts is important, and the whole uh, network that one that we just spoke about. Um, there's other IT technicians on the forums website. Have you heard of EduGeeks? EduGeeks. Yeah, you just, just search that. It's, it's, it's good for it if you want to get into IT, um, especially uh, networking or troubleshooting. Um, and um, I guess you pick up different skills. And to be honest, my, my advice would be. 
just go out there and start off with um, work experience because I started work experience unpaid. Uh, when, when you go to interview, uh, a lot of, lot of interview they um, talk about your experience rather than your qualification. So um, I mean, just do some work experience, get get valuable experience, um, get some multiple skills. Not just IT, but there's other skills like customer service. Um, Skills that we spoke about, punctual, just maintain that, obviously improving that, so, yeah. Thank you, yes. and that's really important. I cannot stress how important it is to try and get somewhere work experience. It doesn't have to be in the thing that you want to do for the rest of your life. You can get that in any work experience. I worked in a restaurant, I worked in Debenhams, I worked in a bank. I did everything I could whilst I was growing up and whilst I was at uni to try and just get all my soft skills done. Soft skills are the skills that you've just seen on your um, cards, also known as transferable skills. I like that one better because soft sounds a bit not like weak, but you need to get all those skills down before you start getting more technical. So really, really important about the work experience. And don't wait for college or anyone else to sort it out for you. Go out and find it. And yes, sometimes we all have to do unpaid work, but I'm telling you, it pays dividends in the end when you can actually um, get a job that you want because you have that experience. Okay, good. So you've seen a job description. And the next thing we're going to do is Think about how you would answer these questions and then I'm going to hand out an application form to each of you and you are going to fill out a real application form answer. <laughs>